Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I'm Doug Brown and today I'll be showing you some basic operations in CX Programmer. Let's start with the hardware configuration. I have a computer running CX Programmer, a USB cable, and a CP1 PLC. Today I happen to be using a CP1L-L14DR-A. Today we're going to focus on five basic operations of CX Programmer. Connecting to the PLC, uploading the existing program, changing the mode of the PLC, downloading a program, and finally doing a simple online edit. So here we are in CX Programmer, and the first thing we want to do is connect to the PLC. There's two methods for doing that, and I'm going to show you the auto online method first. This is normally used if you don't have a project open already. So I'm going to go to the PLC menu, auto online, and I'm going to select direct online. That's for serial or USB connections. The other two options are for ethernet. I don't actually have a serial port on this computer, so USB is the only option, and I click Connect. This is now going to scan the USB port, find a PLC, and then connect to it and upload the program. So now I'm connected to my PLC. Let's say I wanted to use the other method. In that case, uh, I would create a project. I'd need to tell it what type of PLC I had, in this case a CP1L, and I have an L series. I'm going to connect over USB, but you could pick your different con methods, be it Ethernet or serial, whatever it might be. Now that we have a project created and a PLC in the project, now I can just go to the PLC menu and say work online. Okay. One thing to note, if you have a project already open and you select auto online, that's going to delete your current project and start a brand new one. So it's good to use that when you first connect, but once you've connected once after that, you normally just use work online. Uh, so since I manually created my project, uh, I did not get the program from the PLC. So the next thing I'd like to do is actually transfer from. Let me show you how to do a transfer. So under the PLC menu, about halfway down is transfer. We have to, from, and compare. In this case, I created a blank project, so I'm going to select from PLC. It uploads the code, and there's my program there. So now I've seen how to connect. We've seen how to transfer the program. Now we'd like to check the mode of the PLC. By looking over here, we can see what mode it's in. It's in run mode right now. Uh, we can also look at these four buttons here. Actually, three of them are all that work on the CP1 series. Program, monitor, and run mode. Uh, so a quick explanation, run mode, uh, that allows the logic in the PLC to run, but you cannot do online edits, and you cannot do forces. In monitor mode, you can force bits on and off, and you can do online edits, and the program runs. Finally, in program mode, the program does not run, although you can do online edits or forces, uh, and you can also download a new program to the PLC. So if I click any of those buttons, we'll switch the mode, and I can see now I'm in program mode. Now I'm in monitor mode. So let's make a quick change to this program. I'm going to get offline to do that. Notice when you're offline, the screen is white. That indicates that you can edit. And when you get online, the screen is gray. That means that you cannot edit. I'm going to do just something simple. I'm going to change this timer set value. I'm going to change it from 4 seconds to 5 seconds. Now I can work online. And I'm going to PLC transfer to PLC. Select OK. Actually, just switch the PLC into program mode for me automatically. And when it's done, it asks me, do you want to switch back into monitor mode? And I'll say yes. So actually, most of the mode is handled automatically by CX Programmer for you. The last thing I wanted to show you is an online edit. So sometimes we want to change uh, just some simple logic in one of the rungs. So the way we would do that, I can select a rung, or actually multiple rungs if you hold the Shift button down. Then I go to the PLC menu, I'm sorry, the program menu, online edit, and begin. And what happens is that section that I highlighted now turns white, 
And I could go and make an edit. I'm going to change this from normally open to a, sorry, normally closed to a normally open contact. Once you've made your changes, back into the program menu, I can do send or cancel. So I'm going to send these changes. So without actually having to stop the PLC, I was able to make an online edit and change that uh, the functionality of that contact. So those are some basic operations in CX Programmer, how you can connect, upload, download, uh, change the mode of the PLC, and do a simple online edit. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Omron Quick Tip videos.